Hey what's up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. Today's video is going to be one that I have been wanting to film for so freaking long. I don't know why I haven't filmed it yet. Actually, I do know why I haven't filmed it yet. I've just been really busy with work. The holiday season has just passed. I've been going through some pretty shitty things in my life as well, so I haven't been feeling as motivated to film. But today I was feeling a little bit better, so I thought I would ride that feeling good before I went down again, and I would film this video for you. Today's video, after all that, no one really cares. You just want to know what the video is about. It's going to be my next unboxing video. Now this is the second part of all the stuff that I bought from the Black Friday sales. Yes, I know. I have been slack. Okay, bye. 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 I had to rewind to find out where I was up to and remember what I was saying. Anyway, as I was saying, this is the second half of my purchases from the Black Friday sale. I know I've been slack. I just haven't had a chance to film this video yet, but better late than never. Here is the second part of my haul. I took them all out of the shopping box because it was just like getting out of hand. My flat is really, really small and I just didn't want to have piles and piles of cardboard boxes lying around. So I took them out of all the packaging and it'll probably be more quick and efficient this way in my filming process. I'm just going to pull stuff out of the box and we're going to talk about them and we're going to have a fun unboxing haul conversation. So if you want to see the second part of the stuff that I have bought in this haul, then just keep on watching. All right, all right, all right. The first thing I am so, so, so excited about, actually, I'm so excited about all of these, but look at this, guys. Ta -da! Okay, I have two. Not because I'm crazy. Well, actually, I am a little bit crazy, but I have two because one is for me and one is for one of you. So I'm going to be creating another giveaway video very, very soon. Keep your eye out for that. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I have bought another two of these. This, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, firstly, where have you been and what is wrong with you? Actually, that was rude. Sorry. Nothing's wrong with you, but where have you been? And not only am I giving away one James Charles eyeshadow palette, I have another two coming in the mail and I'm going to be giving away three James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist eyeshadow palettes. So I'm so excited. Keep your eye out for that giveaway video. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss that one because this giveaway is going to be epic. I am so excited about it. I wanted to include more items in the giveaway, but I think that this is like huge in itself. When the time comes to put the giveaway together, I might even throw in a few other little bits and pieces, but this is the major prize. So I'm so excited to have both of these palettes. Keep your eye out for that video. I wanted to get that first done out of the way, but I hope that that wasn't like enough excitement in the video and you're like, done, I'm it, I'm out, that's it. Don't wanna see the rest of this video. I'm gonna keep on going. Please stay and watch the rest of the video with me. Next, I bought these eyelashes off of Wish. This wasn't part of the sale. I just recently bought these. These eyelashes are actually kind of pretty. They're a little bit spiky. They're not, I actually kind of wanted a little bit more of a fluffy sort of eyelash, but these aren't too bad. They're all right if I just want to pop on a quick lash and take some photos for Instagram. Um, they're not the most comfortable lash to wear. They're what I'm wearing on my eyes today. As you can see, they're quite, I don't know, spiky. Does that make sense? And they're very, very stiff. It's almost like, wearing plastic on my eyes, but I mean, they were cheap. They're also nasty, but they'll do. I really need to invest in some actual good, proper lashes, but I don't wear them very often. So I kind of like can't really justify spending $5 for a pair of lashes, although I know that's cheap, but anyway, let's move on. Okay, so the next few items I didn't actually buy myself. These were given to me for Christmas. So it's a little bit of a a haul plus what I got for Christmas video. But anyway, it's all new stuff to me, so I'm gonna be including it in this video just cause I can. Ooh, girl, girl, keep it clean. So these next few things I got from my workmates. They invited me to their Christmas 
girls Christmas dinner with just some of the girls from work and I was actually really really nice to them because I actually don't have any friends so or many friends for those of my friends who are watching I really appreciate you but I don't have a lot of friends does that make sense so it was really nice for the girls to invite me to their Christmas so the next few things I got were from them this one is a 2019 notebook it's like a planner it's I like it because it's got a spiral and it's got expenses, it's got a calendar, it's got sections for everything. I want to use this also for my planning YouTube videos because I can't just keep on filming and just releasing on the fly, which I'm not really doing. I'm, I'm organized, but I need to get more organized because the year of 2019 is going to be the year that my YouTube channel takes off and I'm committed to it. So I've got to be organized if I want that to happen. To go along with the notebook, I got this metal pen. If you can see, it's got this massive rhinestone sort of diamond at the tip. It's actually really quite cute because she's fancy or whatever. So that's a really cute pen. It's just gonna go in really nicely in that circle part of the of the folder without like falling in all the way through. And another one of the girls gave me this cute little pouch and it's from the shop Frank Body. And in this bag are two little coffee scrubs. This one is the original coffee scrub. I believe it's an all over body coffee scrub. It says, lose the pants, you don't need them where we're going. Destination Babe Town. So it's a little bit risque. <laughs> it says on the front, guess what? You'll be naked in one minute. Well, I suppose if you wanted to use this product, you're gonna have to be naked because ain't nobody need coffee grinds in their clothing. And the other one is a coconut coffee scrub for smooth glowing skin. Glowing vacation skin is inside this bag. I don't know where people get the idea that coconut smells like vacation. No, no, no. Beach smells like vacation to me. I don't know what smells like vacation, but it, it's, I don't know, it's not coconut to me. So I'm looking forward to using that scrub. The next thing, I'm just going through these things really, really quickly because I've got a lot to share here. The next thing is this gorgeous cheese knife that my other friend gave me. This one is from the brand Kip & Co. And it's a really, almost like a wooden handle, lilac wooden handle with a brass tip here. I like cheese knives because I like cheese because cheese is freaking life. So my friend gave me a cheese knife as well. Also, I got a peace lily plant. I have it sitting on my bench. I'll, I'll go get it so I can show you. I kind of feel like a mother towards it because I need to keep this thing alive. We've had some really, really hot days. So the leaves have kind of shriveled and burnt on the sides, but there's a couple little baby leaves growing on the side here. It's fun actually watching it grow and it grows really quickly for an indoor plant. And hopefully I, keep it alive because it's my little companion. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back. All right, the next few things are things that I got for Christmas from my secret Santa. One of the things I put on my wish list was skincare and this is what my secret Santa got me. It actually ended up being my aunt and my aunt is so sweet, like I love her so much. She got me the Aesop Geranium Leaf Body Cleanser. She also got me a bergamot rind Ylang Lang and Tehi Teh and Lime. And this one is the same thing. You know why I'm showing you? It's the same thing. I like smelly stuff. Well, not smelly, but good smelly stuff. And then from my cousin, she gave me three bars of soap which I actually really like the smell of them. This one is orange flower, this one is lemongrass tea, and this one is mint eucalyptus. I like the mint eucalyptus one. It smells really refreshing. Okay, now onto what I do believe all the rest of you are here to see is the makeup. Actually, first of all, another few bits of skincare. I needed to top off on my Jericho, AKA Kedma Cosmetics Restoring Day Cream. So I got another one of those. I also got a top up of my pomegranate facial peel. I'm not sure if they create this in the Kedma new rebranded repackaged cosmetics line. This one is still in the Jericho premium packaging. I hope they repackage this because this product is so freaking cool and I will continue to use this for the rest of my life as long as I can afford it. The next one is a Kedma Cosmetics Gold Hand Cream. This one was actually gifted to me by Asher from the Kedma Cosmetics stall because I'm a loyal returning customer and I've spent hundred, literally hundreds of dollars at that stall on skincare. So he threw in this gold hand cream for me. It's got Dead Sea Minerals and 24 karat gold. So he gave this one to me as a little gift. The value of this one I believe is $50. 50 freaking dollars. 
and I got it for free. <laughs> the next couple things I have actually used already on my channel. The video doing a makeup collection using the Bretman Rock and Colourpop Cosmetics collection is already up on my channel. I will leave it linked down below if you wanted to see that video. But this one is the Lit Collection. You probably have already seen this. I'm just gonna show you anyway for the sake of the video. That is the eyeshadow palette. And how cute is this packaging though? I mean like, goals. This is the lip set. And of course I bought the entire Bretman Rock collection because like, I can't freaking help myself. I also bought the wet collection. There's the lip kit here. I haven't used these one yet. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using these items here. I will be using these soon in a makeup tutorial. These are the two body glitters that come in the collection as well. And then there are two blushes that come in the collection as well. So that is the Bretman Rock and Colourpop collection. The next collection I'm going to share with you, I must confess, I actually bought it for the packaging. <sighs> I know it sounds terrible, but the product itself is actually really good. Like, it's ColourPop. This one is the Becky G collection. It's actually the Becky G Salvaje collection. I'm actually really excited to use this because Becky G is obviously a Latina and she has a skin tone very similar to mine. And so I thought it'd be good to get this collection because why not? This, this one is a Loose Luster Dust. It's in the shade Chisme. The shade is calling me and I want to put some of this on my body. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my god. She glowy. Look at that luster. Look at that glow. Ooh. I'm going to do a video using these products, that's why I'm just breezing through them so quickly. But yeah, like I said, the reason why I bought this collection because, was because of the packaging. Look at this. Look at these. It's so pretty, but this luster dust is really pretty as well. It's in the shade Princesa. And I love the names of these shades. I'm really excited about this palette. This is the Salvaje palette. So while the colors aren't super bright, vibrant colors like the James Charles palette, this one is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm gonna have to create a look using this soon. I have so many new things to use on my channel. Like, I'm never gonna run out of things to film. This is so cool. I'm not gonna open these up and swatch them for you right now. Like, there's just too many. I think it's three ultra mattes and three ultra satins. So I'm gonna have a bit of a play with those and keep an eye out for those in a video very, very soon. Okay, all the rest of the stuff that I have in here are from Juvia's Place. I did mention in part one of this haul that I did three Juvia's Place orders over the course of the Black Friday sale period because I was so worried that stuff would run out. But after the huge excitement of the sale, Juvia's Place did a massive, massive discount on a lot of their eyeshadow palettes. And so I bought two the Nubian eyeshadow palettes by Juvia's Place. These two are their most neutral eyeshadow palettes that they have in their whole entire collection. I'll just show you what they look like, but I'll show you like my palette, not these ones, because I don't want to open these because I want to give these as gifts. The reason why I bought the neutral eyeshadow palettes, whereas I tend to gravitate more towards more colorful eyeshadow palettes, is because I wanted to give these as gifts. Most people will not wear bright colored eyeshadows like the Afrique palette. Like, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Nice, vibrant, and full. Of course, I bought the entire Afrique collection. So in the collection, there's the palette two blushes. This one is in the shade Bella and this one is in the shade Serafina and this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And then I also got the Afrique Collection Liquid Lipstick. This one is a nice matte one but it's not super super drying like the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lips are on me personally. This one is what I'm also wearing on my lips today. Really nice bright and vibrant. I love it. I love my red lips. They're like my favorite lip color to wear. So this one is the Nubian eyeshadow palette. Like I haven't used it a whole heap but I do take this palette with me when I'm traveling either this one or the Kathleen Lights Morphe eyeshadow palette. It's very very neutral but you can create any eyeshadow look with this. You can keep it nice and light and neutral or you can make it dark and smoky using these shadows down the bottom. And yeah that's why I bought two more of this one because I wanted to give these as gifts to friends or include them in giveaways. I bought another one of the Warrior palettes because I wanted to include this in a giveaway as well. 
So I've got you guys. There's a lot of giveaways coming up on my channel. Keep an eye out for those. And I also bought the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. This is what the palette looks like. You've probably already seen this one floating around on social media. It's a full eyeshadow palette of matte shades, which is quite interesting for Juvia's Place because every other single eyeshadow palette that they have released in the past does contain a lot of shimmery, beautiful shimmery shadows. So it was quite interesting to see a full matte palette from Juvia's Place. But I'm actually really excited to use that one. I have actually already used it once on my channel. I used it in my full Tagalog makeup tutorial, but I was more focusing on speaking the Tagalog in that tutorial than showing you exactly what this palette was all about. So I'm gonna do another video using this eyeshadow palette as well. Okay, we're getting through them. I bought the bundle of four of loose highlighters from Juvia's Place. I haven't actually even opened these or swatched or played with them yet. So this is the Royalty family. This is Royalty 1 and this is Royalty 2. I'm actually gonna open these up and have a look and have a bit of a swatch because they're so freaking pretty. I probably do prefer pressed highlighters over loose highlighters, but you know what loose highlighters are really good for? All over the body. So this one's a bit of a darker shade, which is great because women of color need highlight as well. So let's see. I didn't think this through. Ah! Okay, I got this stuff everywhere now. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Let's put it on my arms just because I can. She glowing. You can tell I've got a much lighter body luster on here and a much darker highlight on my arms. Although my arms are actually more tan than the rest of my body. Now I've got that all over my hands. Let me just go wash my hands before I put this all over my camera. So if that loose highlighter was any indication of what the rest of the highlighters are gonna be like, then damn, this is gonna be some good shit. And these ones are the Nubian highlighters. Look at that luster, that glow. Imagine that all over your body. Apply some lotion all over your body and then apply that over the top. Mm, delicious, delicious. So those are the four loose highlighters from Juvia's Place. The last two highlighters are also from Juvia's Place. This is the Heroine Glow 1 and this is the Heroine Glow 2. I'm gonna open these up because I haven't actually opened them up yet. I wanted to open them up on camera with you guys. Ooh, it's a cute little box. Look at that packaging though. Ooh, and this is what it looks like on the inside. It's quite bulky, but the presentation is so spot on. There's a pattern on the actual highlight itself. Can you see that? That is so pretty. I'm not gonna swatch it because I wanna take some photos for Instagram before I ruin it. And this one is the Heroine Glow 1 as the same style. Ooh, this one's pretty. Look at this one. This one doesn't have a pattern on it though. Juvia's Place has always got it right when it comes to shimmers. Like, I know I wanna take a photo of this first, but I'm just gonna touch it. All right, so that's it for my haul, you guys. I've got a fair bit of stuff scattered around on my bed. So yeah, that was part two of my unboxing slash what I got for Christmas makeup and skincare haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did because I would love to do more unboxings and hauls for you as long as I've got the money to, to do it. <laughs> Hopefully one day I'll be able to do a PR unboxing for you guys and I'll have so much more to share with you then. But until then, all of these things I bought myself and I work really hard to buy them myself so that I can share them with you guys on my channel. And that also goes for the giveaway videos that I have coming up very very soon so keep your eye out for that as usual if you guys enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so be sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life as geek guy again thank you guys so much for choosing to spend your time with me here today I really appreciate it thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Touch my body, 
Hanging on the floor. Put makeup on it. Very, very pretty. Wow, this is taking me 45 minutes. 